we need a thumbnail. I literally put everything away already, and also this makes it so you can't see shit, so I don't know where anything is. This is the only thing I can find, so. Ooh, they probably fucked up my hair. <laughs> And today I'm here with my December favorites for 2018, the last favorites of the year. I have actually quite a bit to talk about since, you know, Christmas, all that jazz. You get a lot of shit, you know? So without further ado, let us get started. So I always like talking about my experiences or like lifetime chats at the beginning of the video. So I have a couple of experiences that I had this month. The first is that I am officially done university for my undergrad. I graduated on December 10th. Well, graduated. Really, I haven't had my ceremony yet, but I have no more classes. I got my degree in kinesiology and physical education with a minor in psychology, and I am just honestly so happy to be done like that shit is draining the people who continuously go back to school like i praise you that's amazing i couldn't do it i might be going back to teacher's college but i don't know if i got in yet i don't find out till february but hallelujah to like nine months off of school i'm just saying the next experience that i had this month was that i got another tattoo i got my little heart on my wrist with my best friend abigail we've been friends for 17 years and we've always talked about getting a matching tattoo so she got a purple heart I got a blue heart her favorite color is blue my favorite color is purple we also made it so that the heart was like lopsided because I'm six feet tall she's five four five five something around there so one of us is a giant one of us is a little BB so we thought it was kind of cute to like symbolize each other and yeah so I love it so much and it was just like a fun thing to do as friends the last experience I want to talk about is the play that my mother and I went to go see this month we went to go see Elf the musical yes Elf is a musical and it was way better than I expected to be it was so funny and the guy who played Buddy was so similar to my friend Daniel. He's in Vlogmas so if you guys want to see Daniel he's in Vlogmas Day 23. Also Vlogmas Day 20 has a little bit of the footage from Elf the Musical. It was so funny way better than I expected. Also mom you're my number one favorite, don't you worry. If Elf the Musical comes to a city near you, highly recommend going to see it because it was a grand old time. So now moving on to the items that I want to talk about in this month's favorites. Obviously it was Christmas this month, so I received a lot of presents that I just loved so much this month. I can't show you my ring light, but I got a ring light and I love it. I hated it at the beginning because I was like, trying to play with the settings and everything and I had it like super close to my face because my camera was mounted on it but I figured out if you put it all the way across the room it still works and then you're not blinded so I love it no idea what model it is I know that it's the make newer but that's really all I know about it the next thing that I've been loving I'm like obsessed with it is like the cutest thing in the entire world it's my corgi butt cross stitch that my friend Nicole made me for my birthday. I didn't get it until December 1st because I hadn't seen her. But like she literally made this. Is that not crazy? If I tried to make something like this, it would not actually look like a corgi butt. It would look nothing like a corgi butt. But I just love it so so much. She knows me so well and I like squealed when I got it. So thank you so much Nicole if you're watching. I know you're not but it's fine. The next thing I want to talk about is my little sloth that my mom got me for graduation because she was just super happy that I finished and don't have to be a brat anymore all the time. His name is Iffy as in I freaking finished it as in I finished my degree so fuck yeah. It's really funny because it's a dog toy and it <coughs> squeaks and I just think it's hilarious but I love it. It's so soft and just a great old cuddle buddy as long as you don't squish him too hard because then he squeaks and it's kind of annoying but so again thank you mom you're one of my favorites the next present that i received was from good old saint nick and it is the onesie 
that I am wearing. I love it so much because it actually fits me. I'm an Amazon giant. I'm six feet tall, so onesies usually never fit me, but this one is perfect and it has a hood and I love it. The only downfall is when you have to pee, you gotta strip down and I don't like wearing underwear with it, so I'm just sitting naked. It's very cold in Canada. That's all I'm gonna say. The next thing I want to talk about is from my best friend Abigail. She's like super artistic and she just loves like doing crafty things. So this year for Christmas she actually made me a candle which I think is like so cool but she did it in this little teacup and like it's just a white candle but it smells like vanilla which I love and it comes with a little matching saucer. It was really cool because she told me that she like specifically went out and tried to find like a teacup that matched my personality. So she picked like this purpley color because purple is my favorite color. And I just think it's like so dainty and cute and I just love it so much and I just I don't want to light it because I just never want it to end. I've lit it already and it smells so good. It like oh. I love it. The next present I want to talk about is what Ricardo, my boyfriend, got me for Christmas because he is just a little angel baby unicorn. First thing he got me were these earrings that I'm wearing. They're like diamond hoops and I don't like hoops and I open them and they are gorgeous. Like I have not taken these off since he gave them to me. I love them so much and I was not expecting jewelry from him so I was like super overwhelmed by it. And I opened them on Vlogmas and I looked super underappreciative because I was like so shocked about it. Like I was just like oh wow pretty but like I'm honestly in love with them and just like so thankful for my little BB. And then the other thing that he got me I don't know if I'm more excited about honestly because like I love this character but he got me the Hagrid Fungal Pop, which you probably can't see because of the ring light. It's probably glaring off of it, but it's Hagrid holding Harry's birthday cake, and I have been looking for a Hagrid Funko Pop for ever and I can't find them anywhere and he was like oh yeah I was just like looking around and I saw it and I grabbed it because I know you like him and like oh my god it was just so sweet because like I never think that he's actually listening to me and like you know when it talk about bookish stuff but apparently he was because he knows I love Hagrid, so I'm just like super thankful for him. So I guess he's also a favorite. He's just so cute. And I'm gonna stop gushing now because what? Gross. And then the final present I want to talk about technically isn't my present, but I've been using it a lot. Technically, we got it for my dad and my brother, but shh, it's fine. But it is a PlayStation 4 virtual reality headset thing. I don't know what it's called, but there's this one game that we play. It's like the best game ever. I'm addicted to it. It's called Until Dawn Rush of Blood and it's like a horror virtual reality game. So basically you're in this haunted carnival and you're on a roller coaster and have if you guys have been to Disney World and like the Men in Black game where you're like in the little roller coaster and you got the guns and you gotta shoot the aliens, it's kind of like that but each level is like a different horror thing. I just recently played a level where it was like spiders and these like giant ass spiders in the end crawl all over you and it literally feels like they're crawling on you and it is like the grossest feeling but it's so much fun. It was really funny because I have a Fitbit and it does my heart rate and my dad was like oh you should play this level like it is so much fun you're gonna love it and I was like okay and my dad told my brother to watch my heart rate on the Fitbit app for this one part in the game when they crawl all over you and my heart rate just like skyrocketed and it was the funniest thing. But yeah, I'm obsessed with that game. If you guys have virtual reality, highly recommend Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. It's a grand old time. All right guys, so those were my favorites for this video. I also have a song, but I think I'll save it for my next favorites video. I'm assuming I'm still gonna be listening to it because I've been listening to it on repeat. I've been rambling a lot about things, so I feel like this video will be like 80 minutes long if I keep going. So we're gonna end it now. Let me know down below a couple of your favorites for this month, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.